Welcome to the tutorial and promo of the Chuche Touche patterns. Uh, so this is a, a really interesting thing for me. I'm really interested in uh, how patterns work and how they form. Uh, this Chuche pattern I found uh, some very good examples of uh, being used and, and what it can do. And so I decided that I thought this would be a very interesting pattern to uh, add in as kind of a like a base very similar to the more pattern um, that I had created before and the halftone uh, screen or halftone motion excuse me halftone motion is a very similar kind of thing it's got something that's moving along uh, it's audio reactive it uh, gives your you know your your uh, screen uh, a, a pattern a texture and I thought this was a, a good um, uh, addition to those kinds of things. It's, it is a source. Um, you can find it under your sources and you'll find uh, the Truche pattern. Uh, so there's a couple things here that this can do. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is that there's two patterns, one on top of the other. Uh, we'll, we'll move one out of the way for right this moment. That's the opacity at the very, very top. Um, you have the option to make that as a, a you know thick if you wish, um, but we'll get into that in just a little bit here. So uh, what I'm going to do for right this moment, I'm just, just going to move that one down, and we'll just talk about the background truche. Uh, so there are two truches going on right at this moment, as I, I previously said. Um, so we have the opacity of that truche. Um, so if you have something that's you know running in the background, um, we'll use the pixel disco here. Uh, what we can do is we can actually go up to the very top and we can tell it opacity. And so now that bleeds through. So that's, a, 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 you know, an addition. Uh, on top of that, we also have the ability to change the curves of the lines uh, so that they can look a little bit more curved like, uh, like or squared um, or curved or both at the same time. Um, but you have the option to kind of modify them as you see fit. Uh, so you do get to decide what, how the Truche pattern looks on your screen. Uh, on top of that, we also have the outline size, which is the outline of those uh, Truche patterns. Uh, we also have the ability to change the color, for instance. And also, if you go to your HSB and you have your alpha channel, you can turn your alpha channel down. Now, you'll notice that I'm doing the back background outline color. Uh, and it made the, uh, the color transparent so much that you can't see that. However, if you're, for instance, in the background colors, uh, we have this gray and the black. If I change my, um, my gray to white, uh, what I can also do is go HSB there and I can change that so now it's transparent. So if I have something, again, playing in the background, uh, it should be able to be seen over uh, or under the uh, the truche pattern uh, so actually and that's not uh, the the color the background color excuse me uh, that's in the second one so we'll we'll move that one to the black we'll move this all the way to the alpha and now I should be able to go HSB and I should be able to make that transparent so now I have the black um, showing up and then I also have the uh, the other color that's transparent being seen through so that is a nice little feature there. All right, so there are some other little things that we can talk about here. Um, we also have the option to have slide movement. Uh, you'll have the left, right, top, bottom, and then you have the left, right, top, bottom of the back as well. As I move that left and right, you'll notice that it moves the pattern. Uh, so that is uh, something that I thought was, you know, visually interesting. I thought that could be really cool. Um, you add in your audio activity and you can set it to transport beat, um, you know, to tap it to the beat. So we could do like uh, uh, 120 beats per sec to per minute. And then you have this this pattern that is is uh, randomly generating and, and making new uh, kinds of patterns all the while moving. Uh, you have the like I said, you have the ability to go left and right. Uh, you have the ability to go top and bottom. And then there's also this parallel direction, which is a part of the Truche at the very top. So let's talk that a little bit about that. If I uh, turn on the parallel direction, you'll notice that it does stop. And the reason why is because it's no longer being affected by the bottom, the background. So we'll just set this to zero. It doesn't, it's not, um, it's still moving. However, it's being dictated right at this moment by the parallel direction, which is the top left and the, the top left and right and top, top and bottom. I'm probably 
should word that a little bit differently, but um, basically the patterns are both moving at the same time. So if I turn on my opacity, you'll notice that they're both moving uh, at the same uh, pace. Uh, there's two different random patterns, one for the Truchet one and one for the Truchet background. Uh, and each one has its own, you know, abilities. Uh, so they're not uh, the same pattern. There's a little bit of a randomness to them, right? Uh, so then if you took off the particle, let's say you didn't like that look and you wanted to have, you know, one moving one direction and one moving another direction, you can do that. Uh, the difference between the top ones is that the top truche is an outline versus the bottom that is actually a solid. Um, so one of the things that you could do is, for instance, you could turn off the, the top one or the, the background for the, for the, you know, so that you can see through it and you just get the outline of the top one. Uh, the top one is a little bit different. There's actually a gradation that's, that the color is set to. So the out, outer edges, you'll notice that are black, and then you have this middle edge that is, or and the, the outline on the inside is a white, right? You have the option for gradation type uh, horizontal, which goes from left to right. So you can change your colors here, right? You could have uh, yellow and then we could make the other one, you know, something blue. And so you get this gradation that goes across. You also have the vertical as well. Uh, I typically like mine with the radial, but there's always, you know, there's always these edge cases where you may see something and be like, I want this to be a certain way. And so I wanted that to be an option. Also, you'll notice that here, there's this option for scene in and out. Uh, that's to change where the gradation starts and begins. Uh, so there's a whole series of different things that you can choose in here and you can feel free to experiment with these. They'll give you all kinds of different results. Uh, and I thought this is visually interesting. I always wanna make sure you have like uh, a great deal of options to kind of modify and fiddle, uh, you know, play around with what it is that you have available to you. Um, the same thing here, there's the color, the G color, which is the gradient color base, the gradient color midpoint, and the gradient color ratio, which is based off of the levels. So there's a levels that's put off, um, you know, put in place uh, right after the uh, curve. So that gives you a different kind of look and feel. It just gives you a different way of kind of controlling how things are being set. Uh, just know that this will also change your colors at times, depending on where you're at. The default is five on all of them, and then you can, you know, feel free to modify them. Sometimes this allows you to kind of change where the gradation starts and begins. So that was the reason for that. Uh, let's see, what other things have we talked about? Uh, the slide movement, parallel direction, which is all, both of them moving in tandem. And I think that's pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of give a couple few examples of how this truche pattern, you know, could be visually interesting. Uh, here's a pattern that actually has some, uh, some you know, beat moved in, uh, or what do you call it, the, the external FFT. As I tap my, my desk, it, it gives it this kind of movement even faster up forward. And it also allows the, the, uh, the outlines to be thicker as um, it hears my voice, right? Uh, this one is very similar, audio reactive as well. So it gives this kind of interesting balance, right? Uh, then here's this one where it's the outside is like a darker color and the middle is more of this purplish color to kind of give it this kind of disco feel, I guess you could say. Um, or, you know, kind of like, a, I guess you could say like a pop synth kind of feel, uh, at least the colors anyway. And then there's this one. Uh, this one goes well with this, right? So you get this kind of like overlapping patterns and it moves down. I thought that was very visually interesting. And then finally, the one that's just rotating through the colors, uh, spitting through the, uh, the side there from the left to the right. Um, just to give a different example, you know, vertical also kind of does the same thing, right? Um, we could, instead of moving uh, left to right, we could have it moving, uh, we, could, we could set that to like zero, and then we could have it moving to the bottom or to the top, right? And so it feels like it's like falling down. And I usually typically try to give like overkill. Um, I think this is probably, to me, this is too fast. Somebody out there may find it that it needs to be faster. Um, if you do, let me know. Um, email me if you have any questions, comments, complaints, concerns about the patch. That's pretty much it for the tutorial. There's not really too much to this one uh, as far as, you know, uh, finessing or, you know, giving more example. Uh, 
But if you do have any questions about it um, or you want to talk about it, uh, you can email me at jacobmesick, M-E-S-I-C-K, at gmail.com. I appreciate your all your time, and thank you very much for your interest in my patches, and you be sure to have a great day.